For this and the other presentations associated with direct contact transmission, it will be important to know the meaning of certain terms. A zoonotic disease is an infection or infestation shared by both animals and people. So when we use the term zoonotic disease, that does not always mean that the disease has been transmitted from an animal to a person. It just means that both people and animals are capable of getting that disease. Transmission by direct contact requires that an organism that can cause disease, such as a virus, a bacteria, or a fungus, is in the environment or within or on an infected animal. A person becomes exposed when the organism directly touches a person's open wounds, eyes, nose, mouth, or skin, which can happen if someone has direct contact with a diseased animal's body fluids, like blood or saliva, or tissues such as skin. Skin wounds in a person's eyes, nose, and mouth are areas that are typically more vulnerable than intact skin to being places where organisms spread by direct transmission can enter the body. Animal bites are another common way disease can be spread by direct contact. A fomite is an inanimate object that can carry pathogenic agents from an animal to a person. Examples of fomites include contaminated brushes, clippers, needles, clothing, and bedding like straw or shavings. Fomites contaminated with a disease agent can transmit disease through direct contact with a person. The photo courtesy of USDA Photography Center depicts a person grooming a show steer with clippers. As highlighted by the red arrow, the photo from the Center for Food Security and Public Health depicts a person ear tagging a calf, and if the animal's blood were to contact the person's hands, he could be exposed via direct contact. As highlighted by the green arrow in that same photo, the person putting in implants in the calf's left ear is wearing gloves, which is a good personal protective measure. A lesion is defined as a wound or injury, but can also be used to describe any change in a person or animal's tissues or organs that suggest a disease is present. Personal protective equipment, commonly referred to as PPE, is equipment worn to minimize exposure to a variety of hazards. Examples of PPE include such items as gloves, foot and eye protection, protective hearing devices like earplugs, hard hats, respirators, and full body suits. An incubation period is the time between when a person is exposed to a particular organism that can cause disease and when that person actually starts to show signs or symptoms of disease. Incubation times can vary widely. A reservoir of infection is a living or non-living material in or on which an infectious agent multiplies and or develops and is dependent for its survival in nature. 